swapped a speeding ticket for jail, panic attack during a chase. I'm a disabled veteran that went into a panic attack, so. And an off-road chase. Enjoy the show. On Friday, December 1st, 2023, at approximately 9.46 p.m., I attempted to stop a dark-colored Chevrolet passenger car for speeding on Ingraham Extended near Southland Drive. The Chevrolet was traveling south on Ingraham Extended at 52 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. I turned on my siren to ensure the driver knew I was attempting to stop him, but he continued to travel south and accelerated to speeds above 90 miles per hour. I called dispatch and advised I was in pursuit and gave a description of the car. As we approached the two mile marker southbound, I attempted to perform a TVI but was unsuccessful. I immediately attempted to perform another TVI, this time successfully. The driver and passenger were taken into custody without further incident with the assistance of Trooper Gunner Foltz, his canine ghost, and Trooper Donnie Cheers. EMS was called to check the driver and passenger. Both the driver and passenger were checked and found to have no injuries. It all started when a policeman noticed a Hyundai whose driver was behaving inappropriately. He chaotically changed lanes and crossed the dividing lines on the road. After turning on the special signals and siren, there was no response from the Hyundai driver, and as he continued to drive erratically, the decision was made to stop him as quickly as possible. I got a gray Hyundai Sonata here on Hard Street coming up. Yeah, I'm 45 over at 10 Yep. The reasons why he didn't stop and behaved like that, you will hear further from the suspect himself. Whether you believe them or not is up to you. Why didn't you pull over? I'm a disabled veteran that went into a panic attack, sir. Okay. Well, we'll check on you. Yes, sir. Roll over. I'm going to try to get you up, okay? Yes, sir. As I traveled south, I noticed a vehicle approaching from the rear exceeding the posted speed limit, and I got a radar lock at 63 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. The vehicle got into the passing lane and passed me and the vehicle in front of me but could not complete the pass before the passing zone ran out and continued to accelerate south at a high rate of speed on US 67. Be coming to stop here in the Cottage Hill Drive. What's going on there? This guy just passed those people? Huh? Did I just pass those people? Yeah, you just passed me. Yeah, but I was just trying to pass everyone. It was, it was, it was an open lane to pass. Speed limit 55. How fast am I going? I'm going 63 when you pass me. You got your driver's license on you? I gotta go, bro. Sorry. Oh. 
I made a driver's side approach to advise the driver, Alexander Petrides, why he was being stopped. And he immediately started talking and was very nervous. After I asked Petrides for his ID, he said he did not have one. I asked Petrides to exit the vehicle, and he said he could not go. Petrides put his vehicle in drive and fled the traffic stop, heading south on Highway 229. I notified Troop 8 Dispatch that I was in pursuit at 12.55 a.m. I saw the vehicle making a left onto Vulcan Road, an immediate right onto South Park Road. The vehicle then drove through a small field that led back to Highway 229 and made a right to go north. The vehicle made a right turn on Vulcan Road and a right on South Park Road, then drove back into the field and made a U-turn to get back on South Park Road. I caught back up to the vehicle as it was making a right turn on Vulcan Road, where I was able to perform a TVI at approximately 12.59 a.m. Pushing the vehicle into the ditch where Petrides exited the vehicle and continued to flee on foot in a wooded area. I gave verbal commands for Petrides to stop running and get on the ground, and he failed to comply. Due to the thick brush, it was hard for both of us to maneuver, and I advised Petrides I would tase him if he failed to comply. Due to Petrides' complaint of neck pain, shoulder pain, labored breathing, and me deploying my taser to energize him three times, Petrides was transported by Pafford EMS to Baptist Hospital in Little Rock. Petrides was released from Baptist Hospital, and I transported him to Saline County Jail, where he was processed and charged. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.